Today I'm going to show you how you can make an inexpensive, decent looking canopy, kind of like the Shelter Logic canopies, except uh, this one is custom. You can make it to the size of the tarp that you want, to the area that you want. You don't have to buy the Shelter Logics that are a certain size. I got these railings here. These are top rails for a fence. They're uh, black vinyl coated. Uh, you can buy those cheaper at a fence supply than you can at like Home Depot and Lowe's. And then these uh, connector kits. You can buy a connector kit. This kit I bought for just around $100. And then I powder coated in black. And the tarp was around $50. And it's a heavy duty tarp. This tarp is actual, it's a cut finish. So it's actually 12 by 20. It's not a, a 11 and a half by 19 and a half. It's an actual 12 by 20 and it's thick. So I'll show you how I did it. Oh, one other thing I wanted to tell you is uh, I live in the south so this is mostly just going to protect from rain, water, and leaves. Uh, we have snow maybe once or twice a year and if it does snow I'm just going to take the tarp down because if I don't it'll collapse these pipes. If you're going to do this up north I, I wouldn't recommend it unless you're going to do a uh, heavier duty pipe and uh, put some more supports in between and maybe that would help. But uh, for, my, for where we live this is going to work out perfect. And I'll go over the materials with you. So I got all these railings right here for about 30 bucks a piece. I only needed six, but I ordered seven just for extra. Um, I got these brackets here to go on the wall to mount with from uh, Lowe's that were $7 for that. I got this connector kit, the whole kit for $100. And I got this tarp, which is black on the other side. and. This is probably one of the best tarps I've ever come across. Uh, this one is extra thick and it's 12 by 20. This is about $50. So with everything is about $410. I got straps too for about $20. So I didn't need that extra pipe. So really it'd be about uh, 380 bucks. Some more information on the materials. I bought the uh, fence railings, this top rail fence. It's an inch and three eighths. I bought it from a local fencing supply. It was cheaper that way. And uh, all the connectors are inch and the three eighths. The only thing that's odd is the uh, this connector bracket to uh, mount to the wall, which will space it away from the wall. Um, I bought those at Lowe's. So I got all my hardware in, all my corner pieces and stuff like that. And I, got the feet here I got them ready to powder coat um, I've got them grounded I just use ping pong balls on the top to block the holes so the powder won't go down in there and then I'll take them off before I put it in the oven if you don't have a powder coating system uh, I bought this from Eastwood it's like a hundred dollars thing works pretty good and I've uh, got a breathing mask of course I also picked up a uh, an oven off a of Craigslist for like 50 bucks so I could put it in that oven uh, you're not supposed to put powder coating stuff in your food oven. So this is a separate oven in my shop uh, I'm gonna start powder coating On the first piece for the wall, I cut the uh, connector piece off. I don't need those pieces, so I just cut that off. And this first pipe, I'll cut into three sections. So they were 83 inches each. I got the first piece laid out and assembled so I know where to put the brackets on the wall. So I got my measurement. I drilled two holes where these lag bolts are gonna go. But they're going through the siding and then some OSB. Now in my case, I'm lucky I have an attic behind here. So I can go put some blocking wood behind it. So when I screw these in, it'll screw into some more wood. If you don't have that option, you need to try to screw these into a stud. Before fastening this to the wall, I would run a little bead of caulk behind here around the bolt just to keep it from leaking. this is how the framing turned out I think it turned out pretty good I like the black vinyl coated uh, railings that goes along with the black fence there um, 
So as soon as I get my tarp straps in, I'll put the tarp up. Uh, now that the framing is complete, I can install the tarp now with the bungee cords. I'll do that next. Well, I got most of it up. I got seven straps to go, and then I'll be finished. Now what I will do at the top is I'll put some tie wraps, some black tie wraps, just a few of them along there to help support up there. <laughs> 